It is Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. It's the first game of the high school sports season as we welcome you inside the Midland Civic Arena. We're inside the Park Place Homes Arena for high school hockey. Alongside Northwood coach Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. And Mike, tonight we've got round number two between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. Two teams that we saw way back at the beginning of the year. Now a couple months later, these teams are wrapping up the season with about two weeks left. And these two teams looking for a win. Well, absolutely. I think that uh, Midland High is very pleased with the progress of their younger players learning the team. So with that in mind, you know, Coach Witt says, I've got more depth that I'm, I'm able to trust and put on the ice and feel they can compete against Dow. Dow High, I think, you know, they just want to be able to get into rhythm, run their lines, stay aggressive. And, you know, their, their mantra is that they've got this game to win or lose, but if they play their game, they're going to do all right as well. Yeah, both teams coming into this game with 12 wins on the season. Both teams coming off of losses. The Midland High Chemics coming off a loss to uh, to FNW in a, a game that Midland High played well, but could not get the puck in the net. Well, yeah, those games happen. I mean, you, you, you sometimes your goalie's got to seal a game for you. Sometimes you just you just run into bad luck. But I, I definitely know the fact that Midland High knows they got to throw the puck on net to score, and I think they're going to shoot a lot more tonight. For the Dow High Chargers, they're coming off a uh, weekend trip in Traverse City. They did not go the way that head coach Dick Blasey wanted it to go. They're coming off a, uh, a loss to Traverse City Central. But that is a uh, one of those weekends as a coach that they would rather put in the rearview mirror and uh, concentrate on the game tonight. Well, you know, losses at certain times of the year, definitely you, you don't like to see them, but they can definitely help. You know, you, you tend to get comfortable with the way you're playing. And when you run into a hot team that, you know, you may face down the road, it's not bad to get a loss to bring you back into a reality check, so to speak. So I expect both these teams to be hungry to get back on the winning side of things. And the Dow High Chargers coming in at 12-5-1. They are 2-2 two two in the Saginaw Valley. It is a Saginaw Valley game here tonight. The Dow High Chargers, one of the things that Dick Blasey is happy about is they've got a full roster, and that is not something that they have had most of the season. No, between injuries and you know different bugs and whatnot, he finally has his team that's going to you know carry him into the postseason. Now, granted, uh, you got to get some minutes logged to get your stamina back with a few of them, like a strike and whatnot. But the bottom line is, is that when you have your team two weeks out of districts, you've got two weeks to get them ready. You got to be happy about that. The Midland High Pet Band is here inside the Civic Arena, rooting on the Midland High Kimmicks, who are 12 and 8 overall. The Kimmicks are 3 and 1 in the Saginaw Valley. This is a Midland High team that is only a half a game out of first place in the Saginaw Valley. Yeah, and I think even Coach Witt is very pleased with the progress his team's made because the bottom line is that uh, to be a half game out at this stage of the game is, is a, a testament to these guys buying into the systems and doing a good job. We are just about set to go with what should be a great game here at the Midland Civic Arena, the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. This will be the final meeting of the season for these two teams. We'll talk a little bit later about the postseason, but they will be in different divisions when the postseason comes. So this is going to be the final uh, final meeting. So breaking rights all the way until uh, December of next year will be on the line tonight. Yeah, I mean, the, the good side of that is that so many times Midland knocks out Dow or Dow knocks out, knocks out Midland. You know, now both teams get a chance to advance a little deeper into the district. High school hockey here on MPS TV brought to you by the staff and volunteers of the MCTV Ready, network. Right now, let's go to the public address announcer, Ron Williams. For a game that really needs no introduction. Tonight, we welcome our friends and neighbors from across town, the H.H. H. Dow High Chargers. <laughs> Against, of course, your Midland Chemics. <laughs> At this time, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our starting lineups. For the visitors tonight from Dow at defense, number 11, Jared Zahn. <laughs> defense, number 55, Joey Johnson. At forward, number 6, Brendan Sanders. Forward, number 19, Carter Bean. 
At forward number 22, Shane Astrike. And in goal tonight, number 35, Jeremy Slazor. Chargers are coached by Dick Blazy. And now for your Midland Kellicks, presented tonight by the Midland Amateur Hockey League, eight and under mites. A defense presented by Zach Sims, number 10, Nathan Witt. A defense presented by Jared Myers, number 18, Noah Eller. At right wing, presented by Matthew Partipilo, number two, Matthew Babinski. At left wing, presented by Avery Stewart, number six, Ty Pritchett. At center, presented by Gareth DeCracker, number 20, Matthew Gross. And in goal, presented by Hunter Swint, number 31, Liam Brady. Your chemics are coached by Steve Witt. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's all please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps. Performing the national anthem tonight is Midland High senior, Corinne Dunsmore. Oh, say can you see Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets A great job of the national anthem, and we are set to go with the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers, the Saginaw Valley League contest this time around. Midland High, the home team, if you take a look at the uh, four-man uh, officiating crew, it just keeps getting bigger. Back in uh, back in your day, Vessi, when you had the stripes, it'd be two, then we went to three, now we've got four. Four is becoming the norm. Uh, starts at the NHL and trickles its way down, but I guess more eyes, better. Let's, uh, let's look at some keys. <laughs> some keys to uh, to the game. For the Dow High Chargers on your screen right now, what do they have to do? They got to play their game. I mean, they're a very talented group, but they have to they have to show up with a little bit of energy. They cannot take Midland Chemics lightly. They are going to have to, you know, hammer down, get the puck from their zone, and attack Midland High with lots of shots on goal. There you see Jeremy Slazer, the starting goalie, for the Dow High Chargers. The other side, the Midland High Chemex, what do they have to do tonight? Well, they have to they have to meet the uh, the speed head on, and I think they got to do a better job forechecking. They have to try to create the turnovers in their attacking zone and try to get as many scoring opportunities as possible because Detroit or, uh, Dow's defense does a better job of just clearing the puck right away. So if Midland High can keep attack presence, they'll do fine. 
Liam Grady will get the starting nod for the Midland High Chemix. Chemix do win the faceoff, and Matt Babinski, the leading point getter for this Midland High Chemix team, wears number two for the Midland High Chemix. He com comes into this game not only the leading point getter, but also leading Midland High in goals. For the Dow High Chargers, they're led by Joey Johnson in terms of points. He's a defenseman for the Dow High Chargers. Shane A-Strike has got the most goals, and A-Strike has missed several games due to a knee injury. Yeah, 18, uh, Noella there kind of holding on to the puck. A little too long, get a face off outside. Got to be careful there a little bit, don't get yourself a delay game. So the face off will be on the Midland High side. In fact, they're going to take it all the yeah, way down. Yeah, they're going to take it all the way down for that. So the face off will be to the right hand side of Midland High goalie Liam Grady. Dow High winning the faceoff. Nice job there by Casey LaRue coming in on the second line for the Dow High Chargers. The Chargers, when healthy, have the capability of going four lines deep, but they have been battling injury bug and the sickness bug, as a lot of uh, people have throughout this winter. So this is only the third game that the Chargers have been uh, all that healthy. And again, they're coming off an injury plague, penalty filled game in Traverse City. Yeah, so they can keep their composure. I think that's number one, but you know, get that adrenaline going, get yourself healthy, moving forward into districts. The Kimmicks will drop it down behind the Dow High net. Net got a friendly bounce off of the rink. Midland Heights looking to keep it in on the far side with Ty Pritchett working the buck. Pritchett goes into the board. Ty and Tommy Pritchett both on this Midland High team. Ty is a sophomore, Tommy is the senior. And a shot there by Grimaldi made its way to the Dow High. Not a, a strong shot, but one that kind of trickled in, and it counts as a shot on goal. Yeah, first one of the day, like you said. Um, Slazer saw it all the way. Nothing major, but I tell you what, Midland High so far doing a good job keeping the attack presence going in their attacking zone. Jeremy Slazer has been the go-to goalie for this Dow High Charger team, and the Chargers winning the faceoff. That always helps a goalie out when you're deep into the zone. Chargers will work it across. Lucas Churchfield, the sophomore, loses the handle on it. Dow High's defense will try to regroup in their own zone. Goes back into neutral ice briefly with Alec Newton working on the puck. They'll drop it down into the Midland High zone and battle their way into the corner. And we got the first penalty of the contest coming up as the Chargers will work it out. Midland High getting a handle on it and that will stop play. Midland High will head to the penalty box on a slashing call. Just a, uh, with 14.55 on the clock. Actually, it's a Dow High penalty. Wow, that uh, surprised me too, because Midland High had the puck when they blew the whistle. Yeah, and, da and Dow High had the puck for a while, and they didn't blow the whistle. Let's find out where the slash comes in. It happened down into the uh, far corner. Yep, so far, nothing there. Alec Newton is the guilty uh, participant. All right, oh, right there. Oh, there you go. There's, there's the flash that hand. was called. And the worst part about that is you're in your attacking zone, putting on pressure, and you come away. So Alec Newton is the uh, guilty charger. The slashing call will put the uh, Kimmix on a power play. And the Kimmix able to get a shot from the right-hand side. Matt Gross, the senior, with a good shot. And Remember, Gross didn't play the first time these two teams played either, so. He's got a little uh, fire in his belly today, too, to set the, straight, set the uh, record straight. And Jeremy Slaver has been a little busy with the Midland High gimmicks. Would love to jump on board here with the, uh, the first power play of the game. And Matt Babinski has the puck stolen away by the Dow High Chargers, Luke Blasey. Now, that would go the other way. A shorthanded goal would definitely spark the Chargers, but Blasey decides to pull things back. Yeah, Midland a little sloppy through the uh, uh, center of the ice there. Dow High almost took advantage of that turnover. Austin Yider keeping the uh, puck into the Midland High zone. As you see on the screen, 50 seconds left in the power play. This time Midland will work it down onto the uh, far side. And it goes behind the net without being able to get a shot. Matt Gross will try to center it up right at the top of the key. The shot is to the wide side of the net by Ty Pritchett. And we've got a whistle. That will stop play the 13-24 mark. 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the whistle's for. I was thinking maybe the oh, net was, yep, the net was is, off. That is what it was. We're just underway, period number one of high school hockey here on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. Jason Harper and Mike Vesna and a great crew, seven cameras bringing you the action. All staff, all volunteers. And if you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer, we'd love to use you this weekend. Not only do we have hockey, we've got basketball coming your way. That is where it's supposed to be. So the face off with 30 seconds left in the power play will be to the right hand side. A there it is, shot posted in. in. Goal. Travis Grimaldi, the junior from the top of the key, finds the left hand side of the net. And Grimaldi with a power play goal for the Kimmich. Well, it's just the way you, you draw it up on the chalkboard, so to speak, when you have an attacking zone face off, especially on the power play. Nice win. Nice shot right off the post and in. Travis Grimaldi with a power play goal, making that uh, Dow High penalty even uh, more costly. And Midland High builds a one to nothing lead. We'll wait to find out uh, who got the assist. It came off of the uh, faceoff, I believe. Midland High, this is something that, you know, you mentioned earlier, Vesey, is that, you know, the Midland High Kimmicks needed to jump off to a quick lead. They did that. Shoot the puck every chance you get. Dow High will work into the zone. Shane A. Strike will get a shot on goal, stopped by Liam Grady, who is getting the start in goal. Brendan Sanders will work it across the middle line, skates it inside. Sanders shot will go wide. Tyler Pritchett on the assist. And another shot made by Grimaldi. This one a glove save made down at the other end by Slazer. But Grimaldi getting a couple of shots. He's a junior defenseman for the Midland High Chemics. And let's take a look at how Grimaldi's goal ended up fighting the net. Yeah, I mean, basically, Dow High's defense just leaves them all alone. The puck drops. Winger skates by, defense just sucks back. That defender right there, he's got to be standing right next to him. Gave him too much space, Grimaldi made him pay. And Slaver was on the right-hand side. The puck went to a wide open left-hand side of the net. And the Midland High Chemics have a one to nothing lead, just over 12 minutes to go here in the opening period. Back to live action as the two teams battle in the corner. Midland High's Matt Babinski coming away with the puck, it leaves the zone. So the Chargers will have to touch up. No line change, and the Midland High Kimmicks will skate back across. Now Midland High will move with Babinski, trying to work in and get by his defender, and Babinski unable to get a shot, and then he pays the price for it with a nice check by the Chargers. Yeah, the refs letting him play right there. Hit up a little bit, but not enough to draw the the penalty and Joey Johnson we'll call it a clean hit looks yeah. good from my vantage point yeah no good hit. play puck stuck in front of the Dow High bench Chargers will clear it out no offside gone a wide open net as Grady ended up moving forward to try to play the puck the puck is still alive Chargers trying to keep it in play and the shot by Jeremy Brookins goes high over the net Surprised the Chargers weren't called for being offside, but they weren't, and they almost took advantage of an empty net. Well, yeah, Grady comes out to play it, kind of miscalculated it, and got, got away with one there. Just under 11 minutes to go here in the first period, Midland High with a one to nothing lead over the Dow High Chargers. Both of these teams looking to uh, pick up <laughs> win number 13 on the season battle between two men that have known each other on the coaching staff for a long time since they were kids dick Blasey for dow steve witt for midland they were uh, friends as kids in fact dick Blasey played most of his uh, hockey as a youth with steve witt's brother so no strangers to each other yep not only uh, the two of them but the families in general dow high will Work the puck with Brendan Sanders crossing the uh, blue line. Sanders being checked nicely by Nathan Witt to keep things, not allow Sanders to drive in. Shot taken by Joey Johnson is blocked by one of the Midland defensemen. 
Kept into play again by Fander. For now, Midland High will come away with the puck and skate the opposite way. They'll drop it down in the Dow High zone. Kimmicks will go for a line change. Yeah, so far, Midland High being able to run their, you know, through at least three lines. Dow High still sticking to their game plan, running through their lines. Ty Pritchett being backed up into the corner by the Chargers defense. And Dow High will clear it out. Icing waved off, but they'll have to play it down into the Midland High zone. Nice hit there by the Chargers into the boards. Midland High will come away. Pritchett works across the blue line. Shot taken by Babinski, who was trailing, and Slazer able to make the save. Yeah, Midland doing a great job attacking in the uh, the zone there. Dow High defense just keeps backing up and backing up and giving them that space. So what do you do when you get the top of the circle? Throw it on net. Good things will happen. Yeah, Midland High has been doing that. We have, haven't got the uh, shots on goal. We'll get those at the end of the period, but Midland High has done a terrific job of uh, firing every time they get anywhere close to Jeremy Slaver. Backhand by Babinski is blocked out by Luke Blazy, who is just a sophomore for the Dow High Chargers. Blaze on the second line. Battle for the puck won by Casey LaRue, but he'll be sent around to the opposite side. Richard's been busy. He's battling in the corner. Who will come away with the puck? Millen High will send it across the boards, but the Chargers will keep it in the zone. Shot on goal all the way from the blue line is stopped by Grady. Kemix will clear it out this time around. Eight and a half minutes to go, one to nothing. Travis Grimaldi, the only goal, power play goal. There's a great shot from the right-hand side. Shane A-Strike had the shot, but Grady Able to make the save. A strike leading uh, goal getter for the Dow High Chargers. But as many of these Chargers, they, he has battled a little bit of an injury. But when he came back from missing a couple of weeks, he came back and scored two goals in a game against Bay City. There's uh, A strike's last shot that goes into the breadbasket of Grady. Yeah, Midland on that last play, doing too much. Two guys watching one guy and not paying attention to the open attacker. Nice job there by Jared Zahn of keeping the puck into the zone. Midland High will come back the other way. Across the blue line, Tanner Squires being played defensively by Zahn. Hard hit into the boards and no penalty. That shot by Abe Strike may have been a tad high, but again, so far they're letting them play a little bit on the physical side here in the opening period of the game. Yeah, let him settle it on the ice. Shot taken there by Joey Johnson. Didn't get through the mess of defenders in front. Johnson's got the puck now for the Chargers. He's a junior. Both of these teams relatively young, especially Midland High. But Dow High's not exactly a senior-oriented team themselves. No, good talent top to bottom, you know, which uh, bodes well for the future, too. Luke Blasey. Will take the puck at center ice. He will dump it in. And again, Grady goes out of that uh, Midland High net quite a bit a couple of times. A uh, little risky situation, leaving that net wide open. Brillhart's shot does not get through. Midland High will come back the other way. They stay on side. Matt Gross with a shot, and Slazer will make the save. Yeah, nice little attack going on there, but uh, nobody out front screening. Nice shot, but easy save by Slazer. Yeah, I think Coach Witt's telling him you've got to, you got to find some traffic, find a trailer. Slazer too good of a goalie. Babinski nearly won that face off and had the idea to drive it right in. Crafty. And when you got uh, 42 points on the season, you definitely are crafty. Gross looking to feed it to Pritchett. Pritchett will work it back to Cade Nielsen. Nielsen dumps it in for Midland High to Gross, who's working behind the net. Now back around, it'll go into neutral life, and the Kimmicks will have to regroup. Dow High makes a 
little bit of a line change. Bringing Jeremy Brookins back on to get the line full for the Dow High Chargers and a shotgun a dribble sword Slazer who has no problem making the save. Well, you definitely tell them the night game plan. Puck's on net, they've done it. They got the first goal, but I tell you what, the more you shoot, the more things are gonna bounce. What they've got to do now is they've got to follow their shots and attack on those rebounds. Just under six minutes to go. One power play goal. The only points that are on the board. Midland leading one to nothing over the Dow High Chargers. This game is the game that counts when in the Saginaw Valley. Midland High three and one in the Valley. Dow High two and two. Midland High will play Saginaw Heritage a week from today and what will be a big Saginaw Valley game. Heritage and Flint Powers on top of the Saginaw Valley. Everybody else is chasing them, but not from a too far of a distance. Dow High looking to center it up. Nobody was there. Kept in play and Dow High's Jared Zahn has played well here in the first period defensively. Midland High will clear it out. Loose stick on the uh, ice. Somebody will fling shorthanded. Yeah, Tommy Pritchett lost it early in that shift. Of course, too far to the bench to go get a new one. Chargers looking to uh, set things up, then they just kind of backhanded and uh, dump it down into that Midland High zone. Not really a chance for the Chargers to set up a play offensively. Matt Babinski will come back the other way. Babinski beats one man, and Slazer will make the save. Babinski showing his speed for the Midland High gimmick. Didn't like the love tap he received either, but he did a great job. Put your shoulder down, lean on him, and, and get the edge. Good scoring opportunity. Midland High makes a little bit of a line change if they battle the corner. That shot almost uh, deflected itself in. I don't think the goal was to uh, find the net, but sometimes when you get close, things happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes never a bad angle. Broken stick for uh, Midland High's Travis Grimaldi. He heads to the bench as Midland High drives to regroup. Midland High doing a very good job right now. As soon as Dow gets into the attacking zone, Midland High seems to get control, gets it right back out and going on the attack. Chargers trying to keep it in, looking, they were looking for Casey LaRue who was charging in towards the net, but it was blocked away by a Midland High defender. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first period. Midland High won to nothing over Grimaldi's goal. Maybe his goal will make up the fact that he broke his stick. Yeah, don't tell his mom and his, dad that. His parents will call it a wash. Yeah, expensive wash. Joey Johnson Offsides. was looking for Blasey across the middle. Now Midland will come back and they're just gonna drop it down and- Uh-oh. Oh, that almost uh, broke free. Misplayed by Slazer there. Not very often that uh, Slazer misplays one, but he almost did there. Now Dow High will try to recover. Midland High wasn't looking for much, but as you mentioned a couple of times here, they're just shooting continually towards the towards the net and things will happen. Yeah, Midland's got to do a better job of getting that second guy attacking the net, trying to come up with the rebounds. But uh, if pucks are going on net, that means you're not in your defensive zone playing defense. So who's going here? And we've got a whistle and... Got a penalty, but... There's the uh, broken stick. The penalty, I believe, is going to be against uh, Midland High. No, it's going to be against Dow High. Nope. It's a high sticking go. No, who is it? It is Midland High. It is Midland High. Ooh. Noah Eller. So first penalty of the game against the Midland High gimmicks. Officials didn't really do a good job of selling that. I had no idea who. Uh, who, what, where, when. Exactly. But a high sticking is the call. So Eller will go into the penalty box. Dow High will be on the power play for the first time tonight. Gimmicks will dump it down into the zone. Midland wanted a interference penalty, but did not get the goal. Chargers coming back across the blue line. Chargers 
will center it up over to Joey Johnson. Johnson shot off net. Oh, nice. Deflection. Nice play. Doesn't make it through. Now they center it up again, but Midland High able to intercept and Babinski will drop it down while he'll get a shot on goal. Everything's been fired towards the net, keeping Jeremy Slazer busy here in uh, the first period. Brendan Sanders going across the line. Sanders still in control of the puck for the Chargers, still holding on to it. Sanders will go to Johnson, but Johnson loses the handle on it. A minute to go in the power play, 90 seconds to go in the period. This time, Slazer drops it back to Casey LaRue, but Midland High will clear it out. Midland High doing a wonderful job killing this penalty. Now High having trouble setting up in their attacking zone. Let's see what happens this time around. Luke Blasey will skate it in. Blasey working the puck, goes behind the net. Blasey still works it out. Now Joey Johnson, his shot gets through, but Grady able to make the save. And we've got another penalty, uh, middle and high penalty coming up. That's right, he's gonna go for a trip. And that's gonna give Dow High a five on three advantage for the next 25 seconds. Yeah, a little bit of wrong place, wrong time there. Playing the puck away, kind of going for it. Dow High player just skates right over. Tough trip to take, no intent, but I believe it was the right call. So Dylan Sarine will go into the penalty box and it's a five on three advantage for the Dow High Chargers for the next 25 seconds. Face off one by Midland, clear it out and that will help in killing that five on three. Yeah, face offs have just been huge for Midland High tonight. First for the goal, second for that five on three right there. Chargers will skate it in. Joey Johnson looking to go coast to coast if reflection goes high. Midland High will clear it out and that will uh, kill the first penalty. Yeah, Dow High unable to come away with a shot on that five on three for 30 seconds. Noah Eller is out of the box. Now it's just a power play for the next 90 seconds, but only 20 of those here in period number one. Chargers Austin Yider working it in the corner. Now Alec Newton will feed it back over to Yider. Yider looking for somebody to pass. Yider will center it up towards the middle. John Byerjan has the puck knocked away by Babinski, and the first period will come to an end with Midland High on top, one to nothing over the Dow High Chargers in an early power play. Vesey, the only difference in the scoring in this contest. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, Midland High, to, to my eyes, really took control of play today. They were attacking better. They stayed in their attacking zone longer. Took a lot more shots, a lot more quality scoring opportunities. Dow High, just they just don't seem to have that pep in this step. Just more of the calm and steady is going to win the race. So I'll be curious to see what the coaches say in the locker room in between the first and second period. And one of the uh, keys when we talked to the coaches was they were concerned about uh, coming out flat. And I believe uh, Dick Blasey has reason to be concerned. May have been a little bit on the flat side. Midland High, meanwhile, very aggressive, shooting almost every chance they got. Well, yeah, you know, the underdog mentality, I, I think it's one of the greatest things in athletics because you, you just got that more to play for. You know, look at the Eagles, for God's sakes. but. The bottom line here is that Midland High came out hungry. They took advantage. They took it to Dow High. Dow High, like you said, you know, coming out flat, they just more or less didn't have the pep in their step. Well, here's how the goal went down, the power play goal. And if you take a look at uh, one of the assistant coaches talking uh, to the officials, but this was the power play goal right off of the faceoff. Yeah, if you watch the Dow High defender, he does a poor job of manning up, leaves uh, Grimaldi all by himself, Nice shot, though. I mean, watch him ding it off the post and in. Just too much space out in the top of the slot. With that left side of the net wide open, the shot from Grimaldi, the power play, the only points on the board. Midland High out shooting uh, Dow High, but not by that much in the uh, first period, 10 to, to 6 on shots on goal. So the first 17 minutes are in the book. It's the Midland High Chemex on top of the Dow High Chargers, one to nothing. We'll be back with period number two right after this.
empty Zamboni heads off the ice. We welcome you back to the Park Place Homes Arena inside the Midland Civic Arena High School Hockey on MPF TV. Brought to you by MCTV staff and volunteers. Over a dozen volunteers making this broadcast possible. My name is Jason Harper, Mike Vesna by my side. The Midland High Kimmick with a one to nothing lead as we get ready for period number two. If you missed the first period, just tuning in and want to watch this game in its entirety, you get a tune in on uh, Charter Channel 189 on, uh, well, tonight, Wednesday, February 7th, 11 o'clock, and then tomorrow, February 8th, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night. That is on 189 on Charter or Channel 99 on UVerse, and then it will also air over the weekend at 6 p.m. Friday night, and then 10.30 a.m. on Saturday, 7 p.m., on Saturday as well, and uh, we'll have basketball this weekend as well, both girls basketball and boys basketball coming your way. That will be uh, videotaped. I, I use the term videotape. There's no uh, videotaping to it, but it'll be, uh, it'll be taped on uh, Friday night at Dow High. And, of course, you can watch all of the uh, MCTV sports broadcast on the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel, and you can check it out in high definition. The Midland High gimmick, one to nothing lead, power play goal by Travis Grimaldi is the uh, only points that are on the board. That came at the 13-21 mark back in the first period, but the Midland High gimmick will start period number two, Vesey, trying to kill a uh, penalty for another minute and five seconds. Dow High will start on a power play. Midland High's uh, power uh, killing team did great back in the first period. It'll be interesting to see if Dow High can uh, kind of jump and try to even things up or if Midland High will be able to kill off this penalty. Oh, exactly. Midland High, as soon as Dow High got into the attacking zone, they were able to clear it and kill that first penalty. Wonderful. I think that uh, Dow High, they need to get a little pepper in their step here, uh, throw a little caution to the wind this first minute and five and try to tie this thing up. But it's kind of been a roller coaster season for Dow High. They've kind of been streaky at times, according to a coach, Dick Blasey. You know, they started off winning seven games in a row, and then they lost a series of games, and they won, and they lost, and it's just they, they've been unable to really get a rhythm. He was hoping that having everybody back at uh, you know healthy and full strength, that they would be able to have a little bit of a uh, rhythm here tonight, but we did not see that in the first period, but we're seeing it to start the second period as Shane A strike will take the puck down into the zone. Dow High, a strike, tried to hook it, but had the shot blocked by a Millen High defenseman, and the gimmicks will clear it out. Yeah, nice little wraparound, but like you said, Millen High in the quick clear. Thirty seconds left in the power play. Midland High, Nathan Witt will drop it back into that Dow High zone. Kimmick's going right to left here in the second period. Chargers left to right. Dow High looking to make a run before everything is back at even strength as the Chargers will drop it to Byerjohn. Byerjohn's been relatively quiet in the first period for the Dow High Chargers. Working it back out, Joey Johnson. His shot will not make it through the defenseman. Casey LaRue will keep it into play. There's a shot on goal taken from Brendan Sanders, but stopped by Liam Grady in net for Midland. Yeah, Midland High doing another nice job killing that penalty. They actually controlled the puck for half of that minute five. Uh, Dow High, you know, one or two little opportunities, but Liam Grady staying to the tall. Um, nothing really challenging too much. So two successful power kills for the Midland High Chemics, and the faceoff is gonna be to the right-hand side of the senior goalie. And the faceoff is gonna be won by the Chargers. Shot taken, and now Dow High had a person in position. Now Newton was right where he wanted to be, but could not get his stick on the puck. Yeah, and Austin Yider coming right through with the rebound opportunity and just pushed it wide. Midland High will go down the ice with Matt Gross across the blue line. Gross will skate it in. He's being oh. driven into the board. They're going to call a penalty on Joey Johnson. They're going to say hit that was a uh, hit to the head. Yeah, I mean, a good, strong hit. I'd like to see this one again. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's height 
tight penalty, but referee right in position. He was following the play, and Joey Johnson will go into the box. Let's take a look, Bessie. Yeah, I mean, he kind of had his hands up there a little bit, and I, I think it was the severity of the, the hits. It wasn't really a shoulder check as much as it was a couple of hands pushing. You know, the first period, I think they were letting that go, but second period, it, it's tough when it's right in front of you. Hard hit head to the board. So contact to the head of the penalty that, that will put Midland High back onto the power play. Midland High one for one on power play so far, and they're peppering the Dow High goalie. Jeremy Slazer had a couple of uh, good shots, but Slazer able to stand strong. Yeah, Babinski with the crafty move to go right through the key. Before you even knew it, he's throwing that puck on net. And uh, yeah, good scoring opportunity. Off. It's going to go into neutral ice. Babinski will bring it back into the zone for Midland, but has the puck taken away by LaRue. Grimaldi looking to keep it into the uh, neutral ice. Grimaldi's got the puck right now as he skates across the blue line. Grimaldi. Being defended by LaRue, a little spin move and a kick save made by Slazer. Again, not a hard shot, but Midland High has done a very consistent job of just keep on sending that puck towards the net. Yeah, and as soon as they start getting the second guy crashed in the net, I think they'll find greater success. Look at that camera action right in front of us, the battle for the puck with a minute to go in the power play for Midland High. Tyler Pritchett. We'll work it across, skates across the blue line, dumps it behind him, and a good shot from the right-hand side off of the shoulder of Slazer. Babinski with a shot. That one is deflected away. Lots of shot with no traffic in front, so fairly easy saves for Slazer. Nice job there by LaRue of forcing the puck out of the zone. 25 seconds to go in the power play. Just a couple of minutes into period number two, Midland High leading one to nothing. Down into the corner. They battle, Midland High keeping it in the zone briefly. Now Dow High will come back the other way. Austin Yider skates it in and a kick save made by Grady. That was a perfect shot by Yider right there. He went low pad side. He had his teammate attacking. How about that move by Pritchett? Spin move and just could not uh, keep the stick on the puck. Spins away into the board. The penalty is over. We're back to even strength, and icing will be called at the 13-12 mark. Yeah, I mean, that, that last play with Yeder attacking the zone, those are pretty much set plays when you come down and you know the goalie's straight up and squared on you. You throw a low, far post. A lot of times it's going to hit the goalie's pad and bounce right out to your teammate. Darn near work to perfection. Back down into the uh, down high zone will go the face off. And the neutral ice. Now, Chargers will bring it across. Brendan Sanders working the puck, kept into play by Jared Zahn. Midland High will clear it out. Well, this second period, Vezzi, very similar to what we saw in the first period with Midland High trying to, you know, pepper as many shots towards the net as possible. And Dow High, it looks like they're still trying to find that rhythm. Yeah, I think Dow High's got a better plan, too, of being a little more physical. You see them throwing the body around a little bit more, trying to make something happen. A little more aggression here in the second period might bode well for the Dow High Chargers, but then the Chargers are coming off a... Uh, too physical of a game that took place uh, last Friday up at a tournament in Traverse City. Yeah, it happens. You you know you get a lot of aggressive checking penalties, so you tend to you know shell down a little bit. But I think the referee's letting them play. There's a shot and a great save. Great shot by Churchfield. Better save by Grady, and Grady will cover up the rebound. Dow High had their best scoring chance of the night. But Liam Grady standing tall. Well, yeah, he made the first save, which was impressive enough. But then the puck bouncing right back out to Churchfield. Churchfield just not waiting, just throwing it right on net. So Grady, back to back big saves. Watch his first this. shot, point blank range, long rebound. 
Churchville sees it, goes, scoops it, throws it back on net. Looks like it didn't quit, get through, but Grady, big save. Good defense, I'm not sure who it was, but Midland skates down the other end of uh, the defenseman that kind of fed that back to Grady to, to cover it up. And great job there by goalie and defenseman for Midland High. One to nothing, Midland High maintaining the lead. Kimmick's only a half a game out of first place in the Saginaw Valley as Grady makes another glove save. And you know that Steve Witt and the Midland High Kimmicks would, uh, you know, would love nothing more than to stay that half a game. And you know, Steve Witt likes being the underdog. And with games coming up against Saginaw Heritage, he is relishing that underdog role. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, 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 it's easy to get the attention of your team when you can you know, convince them that you are the underdog, they don't believe you can win, they're out to prove them wrong. Midland will clear things out, albeit briefly, as Midland High will skate across the blue line. Midland High's Travis Grimaldi, he's been a busy individual. He's got the only goal of the game. Grimaldi back into the corner. Tries to clear it out. Midland High still with the puck. Dylan Sarine tried to feed Grimaldi, but the Chargers will come back the other direction. Austin Yeiter, the sophomore, will dump it in, and Grady will go out of the net. And again, very costly move as the Chargers try to center it up. Grady ends up with the puck. We saw this a couple of times. Yeah, I, I think we've got a penalty. Yep. We we saw this a couple of times though that Liam Grady skates out of that net and there's been three very dangerous situations. Yeah, the puck doesn't quite bounce his way and I tell you what, that was another opportunity where he almost got back and they threw the puck off him where he almost put it in himself. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a cross checking penalty. Let's see if we can find out where this happened. So here's Grady playing the puck, but it doesn't get around like he thinks, but you look good, uh, you know, shot behind the net. He threw it right at Grady. Grady darn near put, you know, bounced off him and went in. Yeah, I'm not sure who the penalty will find. Nobody has reported into the penalty box. Now Dow High's uh, Casey LaRue will go in on uh, what was called a cross check, but. I gotta believe it had something to do with uh, the play around Grady right there where somebody came in and cleared house, but well, I did not see it. Maybe it happened out of our uh, camera range because I sure did not see uh, anything resembling a penalty on camera. So no. maybe it happened off camera. And after whistle. So nonetheless, Casey Tender LaRue is in the penalty box call on number 13, for the Casey down high charger. So Midland High will go back on the power play. Midland High is one of two so far. And we've got seconds a stoppage. The, the, the referee is kind of giving uh, Shane A strike a reprimand. I'm not exactly sure what that is about. I'm guessing Shane didn't like the call and was expressing his frustration. And uh, rightly so, in a calm, cool way, the way you're supposed to. Yeah. I, I, Referee showing who had the stripes. Yeah, I'm not sure a strike was at fault there. Nope, nope. He probably wanted an explanation. Nonetheless, he, he got it. Here we go, back to uh, back to live action with ten and a half minutes to go in the second period. Midland High working their third power play of the night. Matt Babinski will come across the blue line, and that shot goes over the uh, glove of Jeremy Slazer, but that glove deflected it over the net. Good yeah, shot that was by a Babinski. tricky shot. Nice quick snapper. Chargers will clear it out. Just over a minute on the power play. Matt Gross has his shot deflected away and down high will knocked it into neutral ice. Chargers doing much better on this power play. Midland High had the shot from Babinski, but that was about it. And now Chargers looking for a shorthanded shot by Yider, but blocked by the defenseman. Midland goes back on the offensive attack with Dylan Sarine working the puck. Chargers will break it free. Chargers Sneaky have got a breakaway. Two on, nobody, and Yider is tripped up. It'll be a penalty. The question is, will it be a penalty shot? Nope, just going to the trip. Wasn't quite in the clear. So but uh, that play was bad right from neutral zone. 
Travis Grimaldi will go to the penalty box on the tripping call as Yider was making the breakaway. Let's take a look at this, Vesey. Yeah, they pick it up, and, you know, it's the right call. He wasn't clear in the breakaway situation. They were kind of stride by stride. Uh, okay. I'll take your word for it. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, you know, they say you're supposed to bring him down from behind. And it would have been exciting, though. I would have loved to have seen the, the penalty well, shot. We're, we're four on four for the next 20 seconds after the uh, tripping penalty by Grimaldi. On the Olympic sized rink, there's a lot of ice when you skate four on four. Yeah, that makes it fun and exciting. Kate Nielsen battling into the corner. The penalty for the Chargers is done, and now Dow High will be on a power play for the next 90 seconds. And an icing. And icing is the call, stopping the clock at 8.38. One to nothing in favor of Midland High. And Dow High seems to have a little more, uh, a little more burst of energy or a little more pep in their step here. Let's see what they can do for this minute 26 power play. Now the game can be turned around and momentum can change things quickly. And off of that faceoff, Midland High almost uh, had a shorthanded opportunity. Babinski with that little crafty faceoff again. Now Try to the, tap and run. Now the Chargers will go across the blue line, skating it in. The shot goes wide of the net. Joey Johnson, his shot goes into the breadbasket of Grady. Yep, no traffic up front. Easy save for Grady. Now High needs to get somebody in their screen and Grady. Face off to the right hand side. The senior goalie for Midland High, Liam Grady, has played well thus far in this contest. Brendan Sanders has nobody to pass the puck to, so Midland High will come away with it. Two on two if Babinski goes across the blue line and it'll be knocked away by John Byerjohn of the Dow High Chargers. Now the Chargers will look. Casey LaRue centers it up over to a strike. A strike shot is blocked by a defender. Nice job defensively by Nathan Witt. Chargers will keep it in play and try to backhand it off the man in front of the net. But LaRue's shot trickles towards the board. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Charger for the puck behind the net. Tries to center it up, but Matt Gross will try to work it away. Now the shot taken by LaRue doesn't get through. Shot taken by Sanders goes up and over the net. Midland High will come back the other way. Yeah, Dow High trying to get a little too cute on some of those plays instead of just shooting the puck on net. And in essence, coming away with no and shot Grady, on goal. Grady making another great save. Liam Grady has played well for Midland High, and there's just a couple of seconds remaining in the power play. Big face off right here. Dow High gets a win. They get one more scoring opportunity. Midland High, they win this face off. That'll get rid of the penalty, and they'll get back to five aside. Let's take a look at the uh, work of Liam Grady in net. Yeah, that's a tricky shot right there. I mean, you're just skating and you just snap it right at it. But Grady's seen it the whole way, doing a nice job, making the save and getting the whistle. Face off one by the Chargers. Penalty is over. We're back to even strength with just over seven minutes to play here in the second period. Only goal of the game came way back early on in the first period. Grimaldi across the blue line. Works it back to Tanner Squire, who loses the handle on it. Chargers be nice. will send it back the other way, and icing will be called. Midland High on top, one and nothing. The Dow High Chargers, Bessie, a well-traveled team coming up a weekend tournament in Traverse City, but the weekend before was a little more adventurous for the Chargers. Yeah, the uh, the Mackinac Bridge closed for, what, 20 hours? Yeah, for ice falling chunks. ice. And uh, Dow High was scheduled to go to Sault Ste. Marie, but they couldn't get across the bridge. They had to call and cancel their Friday game because they, they could not make it. They had to find a hotel in Mackinac City to stay Friday night, and they finally were able to cross the bridge on Saturday to play one game up in the Sioux. That was a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, hockey for winter sport. You never know what the, the travel issues may be falling ice from the bridge. Yeah, it wasn't a blizzard or a snowstorm. It was falling chunks of ice. But 
Like all hockey good weekends, you get a hotel, have some fun, make the best of it. Chargers will sit it down the ice and another icing call. Yeah, Dow High is starting to, to send their wingers, trying to hit them on a, on a quick strike, get some speed through the neutral zone and see if they can't get this thing knotted up at one. Still six minutes to go here in the second period, but Dow High with a little more pep in their step, a lot more quality scoring opportunities. But so far, Grady has been, uh, you know, tall to the task. Yeah, Grady has played great for the uh, for the Midland High gimmick. So, no icing. Apparently, uh, that wasn't the call. The faceoff is going to be down in the Midland High zone, won by the Chargers. Pyrjan with the puck. Oh, there was a Midland High penalty. That's why. Deflected back in front for the Dow High Chargers. Looking to clear it out. I don't know what that penalty was. I didn't see it. I didn't see Fire it. John shot. Had a man in front to, to get in Grady's face, but Grady able to come through the save. Second shot goes high. Dow High doing a much better job controlling the puck in the attacking zone and a lot more presence out front. You got A strike just kind of playing it out front, making sure he's trying to screen the goalie. So the Chargers are on a power play. And a penalty that may have happened maybe behind uh, behind the play. I, I'll be honest, I, I had no idea Midland was even in the box. Charger shot taken by Ape Strike goes wide. Another shot by Ape Strike. This one, Grady makes a kick save. Puck is still free. Now it goes behind the net. Grady lost his stick for a second, but he got it back as Midland High is able to clear it out 45 seconds remaining in the power play 445 to go in the second period chargers will dump it in try to little brady out of the uh, out of the net and a shot that kind of trickles to jeremy slazer will stop play yeah, Tyler Pritchett here, uh, kind of one on goalie there, but easy save for Slazer more or less. Get the whistle, regroup, get some fresh legs out there. 25 seconds left, win the draw, get down and attack on Grady. Pace of the game has slowed down a little bit here in the second period. Yeah, I, I think the pace is slowed, but now High kind of shooting the puck a little more, which figured, you know, with only six shots on goal in the first, they needed to. Yeah, if you're comparing uh, period to period, Dow High has played much better so far here in the second period. And we're going to go all the way back down with another now icing. We got an icing. Yeah. High school sports on MPS TV, produced by MCTV Volunteers. If you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer, we've got a telephone number for you. If you want to become a volunteer, call 837-3474. You can head online to the City of Midland website. You can also check out MCTV on Facebook. And, uh, you know, we keep saying that the uh, MCTV studio will be open sometime this year. That is, that is what we are being told. Hopefully uh, sometime this spring, but it will be this year. But if you want to become an MCTV volunteer, you can get a hold of us regardless. We'll put you to work. Midland High going across the middle. Battling in the corner. Johnson riding on to Grimaldi. Puck is free and it just dribbles out into the uh, neutral part of the ice. So Midland High will have to touch up with three and a half minutes to go here in the second period. Battling behind Slazer, the Dow High goalie. Laser a senior battle of senior goalies taking place in this game. Dow High will go for a line change, allowing Midland High to take the puck out of their own zone. Kay Nielsen looking to drop in, delves to Tanner Squires, but Squires loses the handle on it to uh, Byerjohn, who will send it along the board, kept into play. 
by Matt Groff, who fires it towards Sleazer and never got there. Chargers now will go on the break. One on one as Shane A Strike battles through, waits for the rest of his teammates to come through. A Strike will feed it. Looking for Bayer Jean, but the shot is off Mark. Now here comes Matt Gross, able to get by his defender. Matt Gross, a senior on a young Midland High team. Here comes the Chargers back in the other direction. Casey LaRue keeping it alive with this stick. LaRue being guarded by Eller and goes into the board. Two minutes to go as Midland High crosses the blue line and the shot taken by Sarine finds the breadbasket of Slazer. Yep, who covers it up, gets the whistle. Time to regroup and get some lines changed. The high school hockey tonight. We've got basketball over the weekend as well. And if you're watching this game early enough and you want to check out some college hockey, the Northwood Timberwolves will battle Saginaw Valley State on a Saturday night here at the Midland Civic Arena, dropping the puck at 7.50. Timberwolves Cardinals, always a fun battle regardless of the sport. And hockey will come your way on uh, February 10th. Yep, definitely looking forward to that one. Speaking of Northwood, we've got Timberwolf basketball coming your way next weekend here on MCTV. 90 seconds to go here in period number two. Midland High with a one nothing lead and Tommy Pritchett this time trying to skate in. Nice job defensively by the Dow High Chargers of uh, clearing it out. I believe that was Austin Yeiter that was able to skate up and keep uh, Tommy Pritchett from getting a shot on goal. Geider will clear it out for the Chargers this time around. Bouncing off the boards is Jeremy Brookins, who will head to the bench if the Chargers go into a line change. One minute to the period. One minute. Battle right now, mostly in the neutral ice. Right directly below where our cameras are, and we've got a whistle and a stop of play. He's been in offsides. Well, well, we'll go with that. One to nothing, a power play early on in the first period. The only points that are on the board of the final meeting of the uh, 2018 season for these two teams. Midland High winning the faceoff. Matt Babinski trying to win the foot race. Babinski's shot is saved by Slaver. Yeah, throw it on net, see what happens. Slazer doing a good job of making sure there's no rebound opportunities. He had a teammate crashing. Let's take a look, Bethy. Yeah, you watch this kind of, well, I guess it was just going uh, wide anyway, but it's a sneaky quick shot that Babinski has. Skating yeah. in full stride and he lets it rip, so the goalies aren't prepared. Most people, they stop skating when they're getting ready to shoot. So the goalies know when you stop skating, look for a shot, but Babinski keeps that stride going and just throws it at net. And Matt Babinski following in his brother's footsteps as one of the top players for the Midland High Kimmicks. Babinski's shot, that one is wide of the net. Looking to keep it in play was Babinski battling LaRue. Now Midland High has a shot, final second. Puck is still free, front of the net. Attempt by Guillemet uh, is, ends up being blocked and now we've got some uh, pushing and shoving. Slazer ended up losing uh, his stick, and a lot of contact made. Guillemette was in a great place, the junior for Midland High, skating right in front of the net, and had a chance to put that puck in. And then, of course, the, all the uh, brothers end up arriving. Let's take a look. Yeah, Guillemette with an excellent opportunity. Well, let's, uh, we'll, we'll take a look in a second. The, Final second of the period of will bounce I pulled their goalie just for that one second. So they're going to throw everything at the net they can right here. But here's, you watch this, Kimet just kept digging and digging. But Slazer standing strong, keeping the puck out of the net. Back to live action. Midland High wanted uh, a shot off of the faceoff, but did not get it. And the second period will come to an end with a one to nothing lead for the Midland High Chemex. And Vesey, your thoughts on the second period I think Dow High a little more aggressive 
beneficial to the Chargers. Absolutely. You know, they, they're always that calm, cool, collected hockey team. But I think every now and then when you start going down, you have to not push the panic button, but you have to get some shots on goal and create some traffic. And I think they did a much better job of attacking the zone with speed, getting pucks on net, and rebound opportunities. Well, Dow High out shooting Midland High in the second period, 12 to 10. So the, the Charger being a little more aggressive in that period ends up, uh, you know, doing the job. However, they have not put the puck in the back of the net, which have been an issue from time to time for Dick Blazy's Chargers. It's the fact that sometimes they play great hockey, but they can't score. Yeah, and I tell you what, the only way it is to fight through it and put the puck on that. But you, you can help yourself by, by attacking the net with speed, making sure that your second guy in the zone is also attacking the net because there are going to be rebound opportunities. But if you sit around and wait and watch, it's going to be too late. So you have to stay aggressive, you have to go to the net, and you have to ask your teammates to do the same. 17 minutes remain in the Saginaw Valley contest between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. We'll take a break, come back with period number three. Midland High on top, one to nothing. You're watching High School Hockey on MPS TV. back the Zamboni making the final trip around the Park Place Homes Arena here at the Midland Civic Arena high school hockey between the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Chargers the postseason just a couple of weeks away and uh, Midland High Dow High in different divisions this upcoming postseason Midland High will be in Division One they will play a pre-regional game against Saginaw Heritage on Monday February 26th that game will be at the Bay County Ice Arena the winner of that game will play the Bay City Central, Bay City Western co-op team on Wednesday in Bay City. And the regional final for Division I will be in Saginaw on March the 3rd in the Midland High Kimmicks. A little bit of a, a tough draw with Saginaw Heritage, but that is something that Steve Witt is very happy about. He likes to play that role of the underdog. The Dow High Chargers will be in Division II for their postseason. They will start off with a regional game against the Bay Area Thunder. That game will be Tuesday, February 27th at the Bay County Ice Arena. And the winner of that game will play the winner of the Fenton Tri-Valley Titans game, which will be played here at the Midland Civic Arena on Saturday, March 3rd at 5.30 in the evening. The Dow High Chargers, uh, they don't have to play as many games in the postseason. In fact, uh, five wins in the postseason for Dow High will give them a, a state title, but that's jumping the gun a little bit, but they've got uh, you know, a couple of co-op teams with the uh, the Bay Thunder and the Tri-Valley Titans. Yeah, and, and every team's tough this year. You know, there's no easy draw for anybody, so it, it's going to be anybody's game as soon as this regular season ends. Those who show up will succeed, I believe. You know, it's, it's anybody's game. Absolutely. Mike Vesta by my side. My name is Jason Harper. That is uh, way closer than you ever want to be to me, I guarantee. But <laughs> nonetheless, you know, high school hockey here on uh, MPS TV, Vesey. And uh, we've got a 1 0 game through two periods. We've seen Dow High kind of pick up the intensity a little bit. Midland have stuck with their game plan. What needs to uh, happen here in the third period to spark the crowd? Well, I think Dow High has to do what they've been doing, but uh, amp it up even a little bit more. Get the puck out of the zone quicker, get into the attacking the zone, get shots on net with rebound opportunities. Midland well, High, I, I mean, I tell you what, they're doing great. They're getting the puck out of their zone into the attacking zone. They can't let up on the gas either. And we'll find out what happens. They drop the puck in the third period is underway. Midland High right to left, Dow High left to right and slipping. Uh, Casey LaRue had a uh, open shot. Now Dow High will come back with Brendan Sanders. But LaRue had a golden chance, but 
slipped if he tried to uh, make his move. Now Midland High will come down. Babinski feeding it to Gross, but a little too far ahead. And the save being made. I'm surprised they dropped the bugs. There's still a few wet spots on the ice. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it is what we talked about, how warm it is in here tonight, and that's affecting the ice for sure. Not uncommon to have, uh, you know, wet ice here at the Civic Arena. Midland High trying to keep it in play. Ty Pritchett will dump it in and will head to the bench to complete the uh, line change for the Kimmicks. And Charger trying to clear it out, but can't do it. Midland High will keep it in. Cade Nielsen does so. Buck having difficulty uh, traveling along the ice, and finally it's cleared out, but only to the neutral ice. Now the Chargers will try to regroup back into their own zone. Yeah, Dow High coming out here, playing physical, trying to set the tone early. A roller coaster season for the Dow High Chargers. They played streaky. They win some, and then they go on a losing streak. Then they'll get back on their winning ways. Midland High is a young team, but Steve Witt is very pleased with how the Kimmicks have played. They've been believing Midland High playing with a little more depth than what they were early in the season, but Midland basically sticking to two lines here tonight. Yeah, definitely big game. You know, they like you said, they still want to stay a half game out going in to next week. Shorten your bench, keep your fresh legs. If you are just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety here on MCTV and MPS TV, all kinds of replay times, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night on Charter 189 and Uverse Channel 99. The game will also be available on the Midland Public Schools uh, website and YouTube channel, and it will be in high definition if you check out the game on the YouTube channel. Oh, oh, oh that, that's, uh, that's weird a bounce. weird bounce. Jeremy Slaver had to kind of drop on it backwards because it took a uh, pounce off of the uh, boards in a, a very odd way. He ended up knocking the uh, net off as well. But that, uh, that, that is a weird bounce. Well, it's a weird bounce. And also, Slazer going backwards. You know, he's got to be careful that he doesn't put it in himself. Yeah, that's exactly Watch what that happened. Bounce and, that, yeah. Whew. Right oh, here, right and there. Now, and now we've got an open oh. net, and Slazer able to cover it up. In a, in a free fall, Slaver had to dive on that puck. Uh, I tell you what, a golden opportunity. Just all we had to do was tap that puck in backhand. Number six there, Tyler Pritchett, but he tried to go to his forehand, and it just was too little too late. Yeah, take a look at Watch it. this wide open, just not quite quick enough. Yep. Call it skill, call it luck, but Slaver has kept the puck out of the net early on here in the third period. Yeah, from the front and the backside, it's playing well. Another icing by Dow High, and I tell you, I think that that's part of their plan right now is they're getting their defense, they're getting in, they're sending their wingers, trying to get a, a quick break. But unfortunately, a lot of icings. Exactly. 14.37 to go here in the third period. Midland High had an extra man on the ice, so he skates off as they drop the puck. Dylan High winning the faceoff. Nice job there by Dylan Ferrein, but Dow High will come away with it. Across the blue line on the far side, off the shoulder pad of Liam Grady. Yeah, a strike knew he wasn't going to score from there, but you throw that up high, make Grady put a rebound down for one of your own attacking teammates. Right in front of our camera, great camera crew, all volunteers. A few staff members, but a mostly volunteer crew, and LaRue tried to kind of poke that one in. Yeah, Johnson doing a nice job throwing the puck at the net. LaRue kind of sneaking through, got a nice tip. Almost got himself a nice little goal. On neutral life, Midland High, Dylan Ferrine will come away with it. Ferrine on the far side will try to wait for the rest of the Kimmicks on a line change, but oh, we're going to we have a high, stick high sticking penalty goal. Did not see that one either. It's going to be Shane A strike that goes into the penalty box. So what may be a costly penalty for the uh, 
for the Dow High Chargers were their top goal getter, a strike who have battled some uh, injuries, have battled a little bit of a knee injury for several games, but came back and had a big game against Bay City. Now he's in the uh, penalty box on a high sticking call. Not sure why the whistle blow there, but the uh, referee wanted to be seen again. Middle and High went from winning the draw to, to losing that one, but we're able to get control again. Shot taken there by Kate Nielsen and a kick save made by Slaser. Midland will keep it in. Spin move there by Pritchett. That's Ty Pritchett that is working the puck, tries to kick it over to Babinski. Babinski will skate it in and take a swinging shot. Was looking for Tommy Pritchett who's across the middle. Both of the uh, Pritchett boys are on the ice along with uh, Babinski and Cade Nielsen. Nielsen will skate it in this time, trying to go all the way into the corner. Chargers defense trying to limit Midland from getting a shot during this Midland high power play. The only goal of the game came early on on a power play shot. Chargers will clear it out all the way down to the other end. That gives the Chargers a chance for a line change. Yeah, Grady stopping the play to regroup. Just over a minute to go in the power play. Allows Midland High to get their number one power play unit back on the ice. The faceoff will be in the Midland zone. Kimmick on a power play with a one nothing lead. Babinski will win the faceoff and Babinski oh, speed will speed through the neutral zone. Speed. Babinski will be blocked. Johnson doing a nice job of covering up. And Johnson coming from the far side to bail out his uh, defenseman partner keeping Babinski from skating in and now a turnover or nearly a turnover but the Chargers will regroup. Yeah Casey, almost a costly pass there by Witt. Casey LaRue almost had himself a uh, golden steal but just could not hold on to it. There's a steal by Casey LaRue but he could do nothing with it. Oh there's another costly turnover. A turnover there. And Brady will have to cover up Brendan Sanders' shot. Sanders able to skate right in after that turnover, but Brady has stood strong this entire game. Right there, probably one of the saves of the game. You're on the power play. You're trying to get out of your own zone. Dow High doing a great job of stealing the puck a few times. Brady having to stand up strong on this one, or this thing could have been tied up at one. Yeah, here's a look, Bessie. Yeah, just I mean, sloppy play getting it out of the zone, but good. Um, you know, good aggressive forecheck by Dow High. Yeah, that was that was a you know a play where Dow High did things right and Grady did things right. Yes, unfortunately your defense, not. Midland High still on the power play for just a couple of more seconds and they lose the puck, so that is going to kill the penalty. A strike is out of the box for even strength with 11:40 to go in what is a one to nothing game. Couple of weeks left in the season, and Midland High's got a couple of big games. They play Saginaw Heritage here at the Civic Arena next Wednesday. And of course, as we saw, they will open up the uh, pre regional against Heritage as well. Midland High, Tommy Pritchett across the blue line could do nothing with it, so he just left the puck fly. The puck is still loose, still loose, and the net goes off as. Slaser had to dive on it. That was an interesting play by uh, Tommy Pritchett as instead of just trying to make a movie, more or less just uh, let the puck go down the ice and played the player. Yeah, I'm not so sure he, I mean, he set himself up for an interference call for the most part, but on the same token, I mean, the puck's moving forward. Slazer getting a little aggressive here on the, uh, the save at the end too, right about here, making sure keeps the puck and the Midland High player out of the net. Yeah, but just kind of a crafty little move. Back to live action. That's the Charlie. Well, there's a running into a wall. Yeah, Johnson Joey, did a yeah. great job playing physical tonight. Joey Johnson leads Dow High in points as a defenseman, and he's a, a tough player as well. Dow High skating in, and the shot no good. Deflection. Johnson had a shot, but it goes wide of the net. Yeah, Churchfield with a nice little move, breaking up the left side, getting a puck on net. 
and a rebound opportunity. Cleared out of the corner. Chargers will bring it back across. Alex Newton feeds it to Churchfield, but Churchfield has the puck knocked away. Chargers will have to regroup. Chargers getting a little more aggressive as uh, the clock continues to run. Still a lot of time to play, and it's just a one to nothing game, but a little more urgency on the half of the Dow High Chargers than what we saw earlier today. Well, with Grady in his own right now, you definitely know you're going to have to create traffic, try to get him moving side to side. It may not be the initial shot that, meet, that beats him, so you're going to have to make sure you get the rebound opportunities. Skating across, Shane A-Strike trying to go right in. Kept in play by the Dow defense. Midland High doing a good job of taking, the, you know, just poke checking that puck away. Making sure they take the sticks away from the Dow High Chargers in the box. Tried to skate it across. They were looking for Bayerjan on the far side. Bayerjan will send it back across. And a shot and a goal. Brendan Sanders from the left-hand side. Yeah, Midland High get caught sleeping right there. Everybody, all their skates pointing at the right side. They're actually their defensive left side. Nobody watching. Guy standing wide open, vintage Brett Hall fashion, one-timer, puts it through, ties it up at one. We've got ourselves a tied game. Sanders getting the feed from Bayerjan. And we are tied up with 9.39 to go here in the third period. Yeah, make no, about, about, no doubt about that shot. He buried it well, top shelf. Down with a little pep in their step even more now. You're gonna see a lot more shots, keep the physical play going. Two on one opportunity. Another breakaway for the Dow High Chargers, but that Charger time Jeremy Brookins loses the handle of the puck. Yeah, puck passed a little behind him. In front of Slazer, and the puck just dribbles to the left hand side. Nice little redirect by Sarain. Beat Slazer, but just a little wide. Now the crowd here at the Civic Arena didn't have much to cheer about in the second period, but they have something now, especially if you're a, a Dow High fan, as Brendan Sanders ties this game up. Midland High skating across. Matt Babinski looking Drawing to go crowd. coast to coast. He has about three defenders on him, and nothing happening there. Nice little step up hit by uh, Noah Eller. Chargers trying to regroup and get the puck out of their zone. They do get the puck onto neutral ice right down in front of our broadcast location. They're back out behind the net of the Dow High Chargers trying to build on momentum. Midland High has really led the way in terms of shots on goal and the time they've had the puck. Now Babinski with a shot and a save made by Slazer. Slazer did a good job with controlling that rebound, putting the puck right into the corner, so no second chance opportunity. If you're scoring this game at home in terms of a boxing score, you'd think that you know Midland won the first two periods, but in terms of the score of the game, we're tied up one to one if Babinski again takes a shot. Chargers. Looking to come across, trying to go coast to coast as Garrett Brillhart and his shot ends up being deflected away. Seven twenty to go here in the third period, all tied at one. Behind the net, tried to. Clear it out, but a decent job there by Dylan Sarine to keep it from uh, becoming an issue for Liam Grady. Here comes Midland looking to go. Dylan Sarine on the other end, and Sarine's shot will be saved by Slazer. Okay. Yep, easy uh, shot, easy save, but. Let's yeah. go back to the uh, Midland High goal from a, a yeah. few moments ago. Yeah, watch everybody on Midland High. high. The left side of the there, everybody looking at the guy with the puck. Everybody forgot about the guy without the puck. Nice crossing pass. Great finish. And a look from the other angle. Good form, good hard shot. And the goal by Sanders 
Brendan Vanderf, the senior, picking up the Dow High Charger goal a few moments ago to tie it up. So we're at one, one to one. If we return to live action, we've got a penalty on its way. A hard hit just below us is going to uh, result in a penalty. Pretty sure uh, Tommy Pritchett going. Not sure what. I know we had a good hard hit. But again, no signal from the referee. He just puts his hand up and skates over to the penalty box. Doesn't yep. allow us to see what's going on. It was, it was right below us. So, you know, again, a, a hard head into the boards, but I'm not sure if there was contact with the head or maybe a elbow. We'll have to wait to hear from the uh, PA announcer because this uh, particular referee missed the mechanics portion of officiating class. Yes, he did. But huge power play for Dow High with momentum. They oh, seem to be. It's a four minute penalty. Four minutes. So, wow. So, a double minor for roughing, I'm assuming. Wow. We heard the hit. Kimmy penalty called on number 14, Tommy Pritchett. Two minutes for charging, two minutes for tripping. Wow. A charge and a trip. I don't know how you can have both. If you, if you, charge, you charge at them and then you trip them? Uh, unless he was kind of tripping them as he was hitting them. And tripping them after he was charging them? Yeah. Charging them in a tripping. I don't know, but that's a huge call on a game they've been letting them play. And there's a shot taken by Austin Yider, or by Joey Johnson, excuse me. Johnson with the shot and Grady making the save. Well, Liam Grady has been strong for the Midland High Chemics for a big chunk of this contest, but he was going to have to be strong now because the double minor, so a four minute penalty going against Tommy Pritchard. Chargers winning the faceoff. Yeah, and Dahai doing a much better job controlling their attacking zone on the power play. They get a quick one, they're going to have another two minutes to try to get another. Sanders and a save made. And now the puck dribbles in. They're going to call it a goal. The Chargers have taken the lead. And just like that, Dahai up two to one. We'll have to wait to find out who got that rebound. Maybe Byers on. But I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll yeah. take a look. Sanders had the first shot, but the rebound came uh, off the boards and around the end. So let's see who got the, uh, who got the goal. Maybe a strike, maybe by your shot. Yep, yeah, here's the initial shot and the initial save. Nice save by Grady. Puck goes to the right side. A strike got it. A strike just using his skates, keeping the play alive. Midland High skating by it. You always want to be on your goalie side of the attacker. Got on the wrong side of him, and a strike just muscled that one into the back of the net. So we'll wait for the uh, official word, but it appears as if Shane Aistrike, the leading goal getter for the Dow High Chargers, picked himself up another one. And the Dow High Chargers have a two to one lead and they're still on a power play. The first penalty is expired. Charger so it goals, goes down to two minutes. By number 22, so Shane, Shane Aistrike. Aistrike getting the goal. 20, John Byron. John will have the assist on that. Now Johnson feeding it over. Sanders, he was the one that started that last power play goal, and the Chargers are still on the power play. And doing a great job of controlling the attacking zone. And how about a very costly double minor call that uh, put the, the power play of four minutes, which means the Chargers are still on the power play for so Dow High, two to one lead. They've scored two unanswered goals here in the third period, and they still have a minute 17 of a power play. Now, if you take a look at Dick Blasey, and the, uh, oh, I think Dick Blasey wants a timeout. Time yeah, he wants his number one power play unit fresh. That's an old school Dow High jacket that D uh, Dick is wearing. Throwback, Midland High, that, Dow that, High. That may be his dad's jacket that he uh, that he pulled out. So that, is, that, is, that is old school to say the least, but uh, nonetheless, the Dow High Chargers are going to uh, take a timeout with a two to one lead and 519 to go here in the third period. Let's take a look at that uh, last goal by Shane Aistrike that he, broke this tie. Yeah, he just out muscled himself out front of the net. Watch him here, he gets position on the defender, uses his case to keep it alive. Just keeps digging, keeps digging, keeps digging. Oh, that's a, that's a great camera shot right there. And Shane Aistrike 
just kind of pushing that puck into the watch, net. Watch him work position on the inside of the defender. Using the skates there a little bit, keep it alive, just keep shooting, oh, shooting, beautiful. shooting. Beautiful. But yeah, as a defender, you have got to keep your attackers outside of, you know, you in, in front of you with your back to the goalie. But Shane Aistrike, big guy, just, just muscled himself into position. Great, great looking, great looking shot and a uh, great job by our camera crew. And, uh, you know, again, we've got uh, all kinds of technology. Take a look at this. Two brand new cameras placed at either end of the rank that uh, we can run remotely so we can uh, follow the action right behind both goalies, Midland High and Dow High. Uh, great technology. There's a look at the camera on man, just like they do in the big leagues, boys. We, uh, we've got it all here at MCTV. Great uh, job by our staff and volunteers. Technology, we're in high def. We sound great. I tell you what, nobody does it better than the crew at MCTV. Remember, this is a limited staff and all volunteers that bring you productions and I'll put our productions on, up against any public access station anywhere. And some uh, commercial stations, they do a great job. Absolutely, great, great video feed. Well, Dow, or Dow High got their uh, number one power play unit freshed up on that timeout. Figuring out one more goal is going to put this thing away with just over four to go. Two to one in favor of the Chargers. They're on the power play. Sanders skating all over the place and trying to skate in. Now Grady played a great two periods, but Dow High's got all the momentum here in period number three. And now Shane Aistrike fires again, but this time Grady is able to come up with the save. Yeah, I mean, A-Strike, he feels it. Sanders, he's feeling it. Bayerjan, they're feeling it. I mean, the, the 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 true leaders of this team are finally starting to step up here in the third period in a big way, and they're feeding off each other. So definitely momentum swing this third period. And still 30 seconds to go in the power play. Johnson had a man in front. LaRue tried to deflect it, but it doesn't go into the net, and the Chemics finally clear it at least to neutralize. Now they clear it down into the Dow High zone and the Chargers will regroup. They got time to make one more run here on the power play. The Chargers feeding it to LaRue. LaRue still working uh, control of the puck. Now behind Grady into the boards. The penalty is over. The double minor has been completed, but a costly penalty indeed, giving the Chargers the power play goal to give them a two to one lead. Johnson fires at a strike in front to uh, distract, but Brady able to stand strong. This time Midland High able to break free. Chargers on a line change. Midland High will dump it in. Chargers way down, a nice pass there. Was looking for Carter Bean, the senior, in the right place for the right time. Haven't mentioned Bean's name today, but he was standing at the blue line just waiting for that pass. Well, yeah, and they, they looked up and saw him too. Got him the puck. Great scoring opportunity. You know, Dow High taking a, a, a lot more shots, and it's proven to be effective. over three minutes to play here in the third period. Midland High scored early in the game and held a one nothing lead all until the third period happened and Dow High scoring two on answer. Lubinsky with speed. Nice centering pass and now the puck comes off. Or the, uh, net the net comes yeah. off. Tough break, great scoring opportunity for Midland High. And a great pass by Babinski. I believe that was Matt Gross that was uh, following he's sending, in. Is he sending somebody for a delay game on uh, intentionally displacing? I think you're right. So taking the net out. I think that's the call. Let's take a look. Yep, here we go. He comes up. He has it. Uh, that's a tough call, you know. He tried to stop. But Karen Brillhart will go into the penalty box, uh, what appears to be a delay of game call. I'm not sure that Dick Blasey uh, agrees with it. 
No, I mean, you know, live, yeah, it definitely looked like he ran into it intentionally, but he slowed it down. It definitely looked like he tried to stop. So Midland High will be on the power play for the next two minutes if the Kimmicks try to tie this game up. Chargers took advantage of a power play earlier. Can the Kimmicks do the same? They've already got one power play goal in the contest. They got an aggressive penalty kill going on, but Johnson's going to go. They just called Johnson for a penalty. He's going for the cross check. Grimaldi uh, egging him on, but Johnson and did, did Grimaldi did Grimaldi get two as well? They're going to send Grimaldi as well. No, they're just sending Grimaldi on a cross check. Johnson didn't get called for anything. Well, he's. Oh, no, no, they're, they're fitting Johnson as well. Yes. Let's let's take a look, Bevy. Well, maybe let's see. We've got well, there, there's Johnson the cross coming check. in with the cross check. That that is definitely the cross check, and Johnson is going to the box. Grimaldi, I don't know if we'll pick it up here. Grimaldi in, but there it is. Oh. That, that is why Grimaldi is going to the box. He's not going for a cross check. He's <laughs> going for on Sportsmanlike. Yeah. So that that answers the question. Of, that uh, is not uh, not good. Yeah. Down one. You're going on a five on three opportunity. So instead. It is going to be five on four because of uh, the uh, offsetting penalties means that those penalties of the uh, the two men that just went into the box, Johnson and Grimaldi, their penalties are not on the clock. They will serve their penalties and wait for a whistle. They offset, so it stays five on four, so it stays with a Midland High power play for the next minute and a half. And the Chargers lose one of their best penalty killers in Johnson. And Grimaldi have played well for Midland, just letting some emotions get the better of them a few moments ago. Midland High Kimmick skating with the power play. Tommy Pritchett centering it up, knocked away, that goes over the blue line, so offsides will be called. 207. 205, I guess, officially in the, in the game. 205 to go. Just over a minute in the power play. Yeah, that, that penalty kill, Dow High was doing a really good job on an aggressive penalty kill. Just really keeping Midland High out of sync. Let's see with uh, with Johnson in the box if they're able to keep that momentum. Now the Midland High Kimmicks are going to use their timeout, so that will stop the clock. 207 to go in a two to one game for the Dow High Chargers. And you know, hockey's an emotional game from, from time to time. Well, it's fast paced, a lot of hitting, a lot of scoring, but you're right. Um, the biggest thing you gotta do is you gotta keep your emotions in check. So instead of your team being up 5-3, you're now still five on four. There is uh, Steve Witt, who in addition to being the Midland High hockey coach has very exquisite musical taste. <laughs> Let me tell you, he and I were bred from the, uh, the same era before the game. We, when I went into the locker room to uh, talk to Steve Witt about the hockey game. We ended up talking about 20 minutes about uh, Poison's upcoming tour and 80s uh, rock and hair metal. So that was our uh, that was our conversation. We we spent about five minutes talking about hockey and 20 minutes talking about music. Enough said. It is a motivational fact. There's some uh, Charger fans getting down to the music being played. I got moves like that too, and I and I saw a video of uh, you dancing before, baby. When? Those are pretty much the same moves. That How many years ago was that? I won't tell you what my sports are. The well, Midland High's power play unit fresh. Let's see what they can do. Matt Gross has the puck, fires it in, but the shot is off mark, off the target. Now Matt Babinski fires in, save made, charging in towards the net, and the puck will be deflected away. Gross looking to keep it in for Midland. Gross in the corner. Matt Gross looking to center Ooh. it up, but nobody was there, and the Chargers will clear it out. Thinking Carter Bean had a chance for a breakaway there, but doing the smart thing with the one goal lead, ice her down. 30 seconds to go in the power play, 90 seconds to go in regulation. Dow High with a two to one lead. Dow scoring both of their goals here in the third period. 
Stick checks. Nobody's putting the body on Babinski. Babinski fires the shot, but it's high. Oh, and and it's going to go off the net. Yeah, it goes off the net, so that will stop the clock. Ten seconds to go in the power play. Looks like Midland High is going to pull the goalie to get the extra attacker here. Why not? Dow High's got 11 seconds. They got a free ice here. But you got a minute 14 to tie this thing up. Steve Witt rolling the dice, putting the extra skater, so it's a six on four advantage for Midland for the next 10 seconds, and Dow High is able to clear it out all the way down. That is going to kill the power play penalty, of course. He, oh, open net, Charger goal! I did not see that. Did not see that coming either. I was already looking for the man to jump out of the box. Deflected away in a, a backhand. I'm not even sure who got that. No, it was right in our blind spot there where the looked like Midland High was getting ready for another attack. Maybe Casey LaRue, let's, let's take a look. Good aggressive four checking paid off right there. Let's see what happens. Midland High was trying to clear it out. And that, that's where it is, it came off the stick. Off, off of Casey LaRue, so Casey LaRue is gonna get credit with that goal. Right place, right time. So it'll go down as an unassisted goal, and the gamble by Steve Witt backfires, and Dow High has a three to one lead, and that will get the fans filing out of the Civic Arena in the final minute of this play. Babinski with the puck for the Midland High Chemics. Casey LaRue with an unassisted goal. Now the Chargers going down the ice again. Shane A strike shot and a save made by Grady. The penalties are complete. So Johnson and Grimaldi are out of the box. Well, Grimaldi's still in the box. Now he gets out. 28 seconds to go, and the Chargers with three unanswered goals here in the third period. Oh, Grimaldi going back in the box. Why? I'm guessing he got a two and a 10. Maybe so, I, I don't know if it was announced that way. I, I thought they only announced two minutes for Grimaldi, but maybe he got a little bit more. Babinski across the blue line, and the save made. Yep, keep him shooting out there, no harm. Now maybe a slightly rocky start for Jeremy Slazer early on the game, but in the third period, Slazer has uh, stood strong where it counts, and he has not let the Midland High Kimmicks get into the net ever since early on in this game. Well, Dow High just needed that one goal to get things rolling. And I tell you what, they've really controlled play after that first goal they scored. Empty net again as the Chargers will work it around. Final seconds ticking off the clock and the Midland High Chemex will clear it out and nearly had another goal at the end, but they got the goals in the third period where it matters and the Charger Nation will celebrate a victory as Dow High comes from behind, scoring three unanswered goals in the third period and the Chargers completing the sweep of Midland here in the 2017-2018 uh, season as Dow High comes away with a three to one victory. The, uh, the graphic says two, but it was three. Got to give Casey LaRue credit for his goal. So a three to one win for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, you know, we talked about Dow High just calm, cool, collected, steady. You know, starting to get frustrated up here at the booth, I guess, more than anything about just the fact that they were just going through the, the motions and playing their game. Finally got a nice goal, and then it seemed like as soon as they got that goal, their emotions got them going, and they started controlling play the whole way. Controlling the puck, good power play attack, just complete game. Yeah, once, once Dow High was able to get that, uh, you know, that goal, it was all charger from that point on. How about the fact that uh, shot-wise, we ended up even 33 shots each for both the gimmicks and the Chargers, but where it counts were the pucks that went into the net, and those, the Dow High Chargers, away with a three to one lead. Let's take a look, Bezzi, at the goals from tonight's game, going back to the uh, first period, where the Midland High gimmicks scoring first. Midland High about three minutes into the game. The Midland High gimmicks able to uh, get on the board on a power play. I believe we've got a uh, look at some highlights of this contest. 
Yep, nice draw win, nice puck over. Defense playing soft off him. Beautiful shot right off the post. Slays are almost a little bit screened there, it looked like too. Yeah. So he was cheating right, shot one left. That was Grimaldi's goal, but now high guy on the board, Brendan Sanders, assisted by Byershawn. Yeah, definitely, no doubt about it. He put that top shelf. Nothing that uh, Grady could have done. Just a beautiful crossing pass. And then Shane A strike to give the Chargers the lead. A strike just battles for position there. He just keeps, you know, working himself into position, keeps throwing the puck at the net. Good things happen, and he got it buried. Yeah. Watch him just fight for position, fight for position, keeps the puck alive, and rewarded for his effort. And then the Dow High throw. Here's another look from another angle of A strike. Just talent, and then the icing on the keg if you're a Charger fan with the empty netter goal of Casey LaRue. Bill and I was trying to clear it out. It went off the uh, stick of LaRue on almost like a backhand-like maneuver. And Casey LaRue getting the uh, unassisted goal to, to cap off the victory for the Dow High Chargers. And Dow High coming away with a 3-1 to one victory over the Midland High gimmicks. But, yeah, Vesey, this was a game, this was a pretty good game both ways. Midland High controlling the first two periods. Had the Chargers back on their heels. What changed in the third period? Well, I think I, I don't want to say Dow High hit the panic button, but I think they finally realized that, guys, we're, we're losing this game and we're running out of time. We've got to get more pucks on net. We've got to crash the net. We've got to get second chance opportunities. And, and Dow High just did a better job of keeping the puck in their attacking zone. Midland High wasn't as successful as they were clearing it as they were early. And then just, you know, their hard work and shots on net paid off. Yeah, and I thought both goalies played a great game. Oh, both goalies did, did absolutely stood on their head when they had to. I mean, Midland High could have been up easily 3 nothing, you know, early on in this game. But Slazer did his job, kept it tight, you know, or just down to one. And then Liam Grady, when he had to, he kept Midland High up one nothing longer than they probably should have stayed up one nothing there at, uh, a lot of times. But the bottom line is you need timely goaltending and timely goals. And I think Midland High and Dow High both had that with Dow High just getting the edge there at the end. Jeremy Slazer will pick up the win in net for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High improving to 13-5-1 overall. They are 3-2 in the Saginaw Valley with that win. The Midland High Kimmicks dropping down to 12-9 with the loss. They drop to 3-2 in the Saginaw Valley. Again, a lot of uh, hockey yet to be played, about four or five games for each of these teams, and then the postseason beginning the final week of February. But the story here tonight, Vezzi, the three unanswered goals scored by the Dow High Chargers in the third period. Brendan Sanders, Shane Astrike, Casey LaRue, and that is the difference. The Chargers can celebrate the win. Absolutely. You know, they just kept battling, kept battling, kept battling, and good things finally paid off and, you know, and, and worked in their favor. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of these uh, volunteers, take the time to tell them thank you for bringing MCTV and MPS TV into your living room. These productions could not be done without the help of all of the volunteers that make these games possible. If you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer, you can do so by uh, calling the studio at 837 Three, four, seven, four. Become an MCTV volunteer. We've got some great new technology that you can play around with and help us put high school sports and many other productions on the air in Midland County. For our entire team and my broadcast partner, Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. The final score tonight, the Dow High Chargers 3, Midland High 1. Thanks for watching High School Hockey.